guys, welcome back to SB Basic Cooking on Board. We are going to be eating outside again in the cockpit, and it's a little bit chillier than it has been this past summer, which means that fall is in the air. And as much as I'm kind of depressed that summer's coming to an end, I'm actually really excited to start cooking up some heartier meals. So for tonight's menu, I am going to be making potato and ham soup. So stick with me and I'm going to show you how I make it. Let's get busy. So for the ingredients I'm using is I start with two nice smoked ham hocks. This gives it a lot of depth. I'm gonna do butter, two fresh white corn. I like that for the texture. And of course you have your garlic onion potato base. Now that I have all my ingredients, I'm gonna get started with the smoked ham hocks. I'll get that in the pot with some water and once that starts to pull apart I will add the potato and onions. in now and let that simmer down and get started on the potatoes and onion. I like actually using the red potato just because it doesn't fall apart as easily as the russet. It calls for russet to get it thicker, but I can do a roux and add that in at the end and it will still be nice and creamy. So while the ham hocks are simmering, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to just unwind, enjoy a glass of wine, and take in the view. So the ham hocks have been simmering for about half an hour and now it's time to add the potatoes and onion. Oh, it's starting to smell good, isn't it? It is. I do like to add a little bit of... <laughs> it's fine, go. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I do like to add a little bit of herbs and for tonight, I'm gonna be using a little thyme. Um, I don't use salt and pepper until after I have shredded the ham hocks just because I don't know how salty it is and then you can always do it afterwards but the worst thing to do is to over salt your soup because it wrecks it for everyone. I am just about done. We are just letting the potatoes, onions, garlic, and ham hocks just simmer together. I'm gonna build a roux. The roux is going to be added at the end just to thicken it up and then I'll add the corn in as well. I like the corn to be tossed in about five minutes before we're completed 
because it's that freshness when you bite into that that first bite. Keeping it crunchy. Um, yeah, it's just it's nice. And then I'll top it with something like green onions, parsley, maybe bacon. 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 Don't forget the bacon. There is no fancy way of doing this, but I got some fresh corn. It's sweet and delicious. The next step is to make the roux. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So, making a roux essentially is just butter, and flour and you form that up and you cook the flour flavor out until you get something really thick this helps thicken up the entire soup but I already need to use bacon and so I'm gonna cut up this and use the bacon grease and add a little bit extra butter before I add the flour that will give me a really nice flavorful roux tablespoons of butter and equal amounts of flour. I'm going to get this cooked up, get the flour flavor out, and this will be my thickener for my soup. Okay, so it looks like the flour has been cooked off and I'm using some of the soup broth and then add my cream. I'm gonna use a heavy cream to this and then add this to the main soup and it will make it nice and rich and thick and delectable. Okay, so it's time to take the ham hocks out and shred the meat. Look at that. Soup is just about ready. Okay, the ham hocks have been shredded and diced up. It's time to add it into the soup along with the corn. So I know that I keep saying that we're almost ready, but we really are almost. I'm gonna add the brew, and it looks like I was a little overzealous in making it. So I'm gonna add a half at a time to the right thickness that Teal likes because I could be fine just like this. But Thicken it the up. captain likes it really thick. Thicken it up. So we're almost ready. I can hardly wait. Okay, that looks delicious. Let's let's do this. Well I gotta taste it too. We are all set for 
for dinner. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's meal and we will see you guys next week.